Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be talking to you about my most repurchased drugstore makeup items. Now if you've been around my channel for a while, you would know that the makeup that I purchase and use is 90% drugstore and I have so many favourites, but today I want to show you my absolutely most loved and most repurchased. So if you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. I have to start with this product because I feel like I just rave about it constantly and it is the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. Back in the day when Tarte Shape Tape was all the rage, there really wasn't a good drugstore dupe until this came out. Oh my god, if you love a full coverage flawless matte finish, you will love this concealer. Now I do have a few shades here that I want to swatch for you because the range is actually quite big and their fair shades are really good. So here we've got 320, 322 and 325. 322 is my most used. It does still give me a little bit of a brightening effect but it's not as bright as 320 here. I love this concealer because as I said, you are getting an actual full coverage. There are so many concealers out there that claim to be full coverage and they're just not. This is full coverage and it leaves the most smooth and flawless finish. Even if you have quite creasy under eyes like I do myself, it doesn't settle extremely bad into them. So you're still going to get that smooth look. It has a nice big doe foot applicator. The consistency of the product is quite creamy and lightweight for how full coverage it is. It's not thick and heavy under the eyes at all. It just applies beautifully and it also works really well for covering up blemishes. Now if you find the L'Oreal concealer to be too drying for your under eyes or too matte, then my next recommendation and one that I have repurchased several times now is the e.l.f. Hydrating Chemo Concealer. Now e.l.f. did release a matte version of this which is very similar to the L'Oreal Infallible but their hydrating version, I just, I love it so much more. So in the e.l.f. Concealer, this is the shade Fair Beige, this is the shade Light Ivory and then this is the L'Oreal Concealer in 325 just so you can get a bit of a look at those shades there. Now I just swap between these two shades. As you can see, there's not a huge difference, so it doesn't really bother me which one that I use. I like these shades because they're not super brightening and they kind of match my skin tone a bit better and just blend in without giving me that super brightening look, which I've really started to steer away from lately. Now, I wouldn't say this concealer is as full coverage as the L'Oreal, but it still has a very high coverage and just gives more hydration. Sometimes with hydrating concealers, they can settle really badly into fine lines and you're not getting that really good coverage, but this does not do that at all. I'm still getting a really flawless finish with a decent coverage. This concealer also comes with a big doe foot applicator, which I have really come to enjoy in concealers lately. And the best part about the e.l.f. concealer is that it's only $10. I forgot to say the L'Oreal is around $30 so a little bit pricey and I only ever buy it when it's on sale but the e.l.f. concealer 10 bucks. What a bargain. Moving on to a face powder I cannot put down the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder. I have repurchased this so many times and these two are also nearly empty and I think I've got like three backups sitting in my cupboard. <laughs> I used to always purchase the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I still do really enjoy that powder, but what I love more about the CoverGirl is the flawless, smooth finish that it gives. Like, I have not seen this from a powder that I've used before. I especially like to use it with my sponge. So after I've applied my foundation and my concealer, I just take my sponge, rub it in and then push the powder into the skin and it just gives the most smooth finish. Like your pores are blurred. I actually used this powder on my wedding day. It is just so beautiful and I definitely recommend. I think it comes in four shades. There is a translucent, but I get the shade 120 Fair. It's a really beautiful light shade and it works great for my fair skin tone. And I also, really love the packaging. It's super cute with the clear and the baby pink. 
Another one from L'Oreal that I have repurchased countless times and I recommend it to so many people is the True Match Foundation. Now I love so many things about this foundation. It has a beautiful satin matte finish. You're getting that little bit of a glow, but it's not going anywhere. Like it's not so glowy that it moves around your face. The coverage for me is a medium to high coverage. It does cover up all my blemishes and redness, but it still looks natural like it doesn't look too heavy or cakey on the skin at all and then the thing that surprised me most about this foundation is the longevity for a foundation that gives a bit of a glowy finish usually like on me i don't get the best longevity but this lasts for hours like 10 plus hours it is still looking flawless and that's all i want that's all i want in a foundation just last please now the True Match line is also very inclusive. There are 40 shades in the range, which is fantastic for drugstore. And what I love about it is that they have different undertones and it says it on the bottle. So I have the fairest shade in the range, 0.5N Porcelain. So this has a neutral undertone. And then I also have 1N Ivory, which again is a neutral undertone, but they do have cool and warm as well. So you're bound to find a shade that works for you. And I think that this foundation would work well for dry skin because it does have that hydrating finish, but it could also work well for oily skin. I don't think you're going to get as much longevity out of it, but it will work well. I'm combination myself. I do get a little oily throughout my T-zone, but the foundation doesn't break up at all. I just have to lightly blot after a good amount of wear and it's still good as new, so. Next, I have a mascara by Maybelline and this is the Falsies Lash Lift. Now, I have loved Maybelline mascaras for as long as I can remember, but this is hands down my favorite mascara of theirs and I have repurchased it a lot. I don't know why I keep saying that, like that's the point of this video. The <laughs> This is what the wand looks like. As you can see, it has that hourglass shape to it, which I find works really well for my lashes. I don't really like rubber bristles. I feel as like they don't give as much volume and length to my lashes, but this mascara just does everything I want. I'm actually wearing it today and look how long my lashes are. I do naturally have quite long lashes, but this just like takes them to the next level. They always look nice and separated and volumized. They don't clump together at all. The formula of this mascara is just perfect too from the moment you open it. It's not too wet. It's not too dry. It doesn't dry up either after only having it open for like a week. And then on the other end, I can't stand when a mascara is too wet and sloppy and then your lashes all clump like, ugh. This is just the perfect formula. And I also picked up the waterproof version. And this is the one that I wore on my wedding day. And it lasted through all the tears, all the emotion, <laughs> everything about the day. Next, I have some brow products. And first up is another one by Maybelline. And this is the Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. So it says here that it is a 1.5 millimeter defining pencil. And this is in the shade Blonde. I really love this shade for my brows as well. I don't like to go a warm orangey brown that matches my hair. I prefer more of a cool tone blonde and this is the perfect shade. The consistency of it is beautiful as well. It's nice and creamy, but it doesn't slip and slide around. It stays in place all day and it's affordable. It's only around $15, but you can always pick it up on sale. I rarely buy drugstore makeup at full price. Like, why would you just wait for a sale? <laughs> this is actually a freshie, so I haven't used it yet, but this is what the tip looks like. Super tiny, so you can draw a nice straight line under your brows and then go ahead and draw little strokes to fill it in. And that way your brows don't look like bold and square and like fake. It just makes them look very natural. And then the other end, you've got a spoolie, which helps to blend that product out. The pencil also comes in a variety of shades to suit many different brow colors, which is great. The next product is by Emco Beauty and it doesn't have the name on it, but it's something like the Feather Touch or the Feathering Brow Pen. And this is in the shade Blonde. And what it is, is a brush tip 
brow pen. So what this allows you to do is draw even more realistic hair-like strokes in your brow. Now the pencil, it's great, it's fantastic. You get that nice natural brow, but as I said, this is going to fill in those areas that don't have hair, which for me, I really need. So the front of my brows, good, I got hair, it's nice and bushy, but the tails, it just turns into like this tiny little thin strip of hair and I've got nothing for the arch. So once I draw in the pencil, I like to go in with the pen and just lightly flick in some hair-like strokes and it just makes them look so much more full and bushier and more natural. It is so good. The drugstore is starting to release more of these types of products, but I still find that the Emco Beauty is my favorite and my most repurchased because of the product itself. It's not too, like what's it called? Like it doesn't, too much doesn't come out. I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for, but I've used some brow pens where you draw it on and it's like ink everywhere. You're like, holy shit, how do I fix this? Then I've also used some where you draw it on and it's like, where is the product? So this is the perfect in between. And I also really like the shade. I'm pretty sure there are only two available, like a blonde and a dark brown or something, but this is quite a good shade. I would like to try something a little bit lighter, but for what I've got, at my reach right now, this is the best and the most repurchased. And then lastly for the brow category, I have the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel. And I have been using this for years. Now the thing I love most is this tiny little precise wand that we've got here, which works really well, especially for my brows. As I said, I don't have a lot going on, so I can just get right up in there and zhush those brows up. The shade is perfect. Again, not too pigmented, like you're not getting an overwhelming amount of product coming out so that you can work it into your brows and blend it out nicely without going overboard. This brow gel actually has some filling fibers in it, so it clings onto those brow hairs and just makes them look bushier and fluffier, which again, is what I'm all about here. I'm pretty sure it only comes in like two shades, but it's only $5 and this blonde shade is perfect for me. It's just, it's a winner, okay? Next I have some setting sprays and first up is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. And I think that I have been using this since the very start of my YouTube channel. What I love about this is that it actually keeps your makeup in place. I see such a difference when I use it. It smells divine as well. It's like cucumbers, so it's very refreshing and it just settles all those powders in and locks your makeup in place. Before I found this, I was using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I had repurchased that a few times, but this is so much cheaper and it does just as good of a job. And then the other setting spray that I cannot get enough of is the L'Oreal Shake and Glow. Now this is a luminous setting spray. So it doesn't so much set your makeup in place like the Rimmel one does, but it just gives you the most beautiful, subtle glow. Like, oh my God. And also the mist is just, it's beautiful. All right. So I'm already pretty glowy because I've got some cream cheek products on. Oh, do you hear that mist? It smells so beautiful. And just, do you see that extra sheen and that extra glow? It just makes your skin look so naturally luminous. Oh my God, I love it so so much. I've tried other glowy setting sprays in the past and they're just too much. Like it is an overload of dewiness. Whereas this just hits that perfect sweet spot. It doesn't have any chunky glitter particles in it. I don't know what the hell is in it that gives you that beautiful sheen, but it lasts on the skin for a really long time too, which is really nice. And then lastly, I have a lip liner and this is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in Nude Whisper. So this is a retractable lip liner. And what I love about it is the shade, of course. It is a beautiful, cool tone nude shade. Look at that, like that is my perfect nude. It's just amazing. And it is such a creamy formula, but in saying that, it doesn't bleed on your lips. I know some lip liners, when they're too creamy, they start going whichever way they want. Mm -mm. 
not this one. It stays in place and it's just the perfect shade. Like I think that's why I love it the most because that nude shade just works so well for me and it goes with so many of my lipsticks. It's just Dornan. All right, well, they are all of my most repurchased products. I know it was quite Maybelline and L'Oreal heavy. And if you are cruelty free, I'm really sorry to mention so many of their products. I would love for you to leave me a comment down below letting me know what your most repurchased makeup products are, drugstore or high-end. Let me know. Let's have a conversation. I'm so excited to hear about it. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. If you want more, you can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I will have them linked down below or you can just search my name and I'll pop up. I'll be there waiting for you. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you are all having a fabulous day wherever you are, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.